Hey guys, the Lord bless you, Evangelist Rob. I want to employ you in this hour. Make sure you guard your heart. Not only your heart, but also your mind, but predominantly, especially your heart. You know, Jesus guarded his heart, my friends. Jesus, there was 500 that followed, more than that, but five, he had the 500. Then there was the 120. Then there was the 70. Then he had the 12 disciples. Then he had Peter, James, and John, the three. But only one, John the Beloved, would lay his heart on the bosom of Jesus and hear the heartbeat of the Lord. Jesus only allowed one to get that close to his heart so he could hear his heartbeat. Be very careful who you allow and who you give your heart to. The Bible talks about guarding your heart. Don't let everybody or anybody in. Come on, man. We got to get wisdom. We got to look. Now, not, not all of us batted a thousand at this. I certainly haven't. If we did, there would be no reason for grace in the first place. But we've got to learn and grow who and when we allow people into our heart and into our life. Now, Proverbs chapter 4, I want to take you into verse. Uh, 23, but before I do, it'd be an honor. Please subscribe to the channel. Specific prayer requests, any prayer requests can go in the comment section. You don't have to be specific. You can just pray, put pray for me, Rob, and, you know, we'll see how the Lord moves. But, you know, I do want to prophesy in the prayer of impartation, three, four minutes max, that if anyone's allowed anyone in their heart and their heart's been broken, that they can trust the right people in the right season again and use discernment. Discernment's the key, man. It's like, you know, the Bible says, John, believe 1 John 4, it says, test the spirits. You know, the gift of discernment in Corinthians is a, it's one of the important gifts in this hour, if not the most important. Now, Proverbs, again, chapter 4, verse 23 um, let's take it in verse 20. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Make sure the word of God is in your heart or close to your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all your flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence. Or guard your heart with all diligence. Why? For out of it springs the issues of life. If you don't guard your heart, you let anybody or anything or anyone in at any time, what's going to spring out of the issues of your life is not good because you're going to allow people through your own free will and admonition. Now, if you've fallen from this, say, dear God, help me, repent, forgive people that have hurt you, wound you, traumatized, abused you, that have broken your heart or hurt your heart, and go on with the Lord. Let's take it into Philippians, hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4, and it talks about guarding your heart in verse 6. Be anxious for nothing in prayer, supplication, thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and the minds through Christ Jesus. What is the peace of God going to do? It's going to guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Lord, we're asking you to guard our hearts, guard our minds, hallelujah. Guard us, protect us, let us use wisdom. I do want to read 1 John 4. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Beloved, do not let everyone or anything or anyone prophetic or anyone on YouTube or in a church, a priest, pastor, whatever, dude, come into your heart. Do not believe every spirit. Test the spirits, whether they are from God. Hallelujah. The discerning of spirits. Corinthians talks about gifts. That's how you know who to let or allow into your heart. You can discern the motive of the person, whether it's pure or not, whether it's of the Lord or fleshly. Hey, the Lord bless you guys, man. Guard your hearts with the peace of God, with the word of God, with the discernment of God. 
The Lord bless you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Blessings in Jesus' name.